What's up, y'all? So, a conversation with Travis Scott, Charlemagne the God. We're about to get into this video. Um, of course, like always, I have several things to say when we get past this intro. But all I'm going to say is grab your wine. You might need it. Spark up. Get a water or something. Oh, shit. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host. And today, I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? What the goddamn hell, y'all league? So, when the Travis Scott situation happened, I did not want to react to it because in certain situations, I don't be wanting to say the wrong thing. But I need to stop doing that and start reacting to certain shit because I may be saying the right thing for someone, okay? Because fuck everybody else. Um, this shit was sad, devastating. And a lot of times I don't want to put that on my energy either, you know, feeling bad and just, uh, but real life shit happens, you know what I'm saying? And this is some real life shit that has happened. And, uh, yeah, I definitely want to know what he think. Um, apparently he's getting sued by like 46, um, I don't know, people or 46 entities or 46 people i'm not sure but he getting sued by a lot of people and um he's trying to debunk um the lawsuits he's trying to say it's not his fault so i don't know Charlemagne giving him an interview let's get into it travis scott what's up brother what to do how you feeling uh you know um is he I've been on about like. Hold on. Because I think, yeah, we on the wrong channel. We get no ads. And I know Charlemagne going to have plenty of no ads. Right. Travis Scott, what's up, brother? What to do? How you feeling? Uh, you know, um, is you, I've been on about like different type of like emotions, you know, emotional roller coaster. I mean, um, it gets so hard cause you know, I'm so, I always felt like connected with my fans mm -hmm. and you know, I went through something, you know, and I feel like fans went through something and people's parents went through something and it's, you know, it, it really, you know, it hurts, it hurts the community, it hurts a, a city. And it's just been a lot of thoughts, you know, a lot of feelings, a lot of grieving, um, and just, you know, trying to get you to wrap my head around it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and really just really wanting to be there. Um, and just, you know, wish you could just kind of like hold everyone, you know. Um, kind of just heal them, talk to them, have conversations. Um, you know, it just, it, it just, you know, it really just hurts, man. Well, what's, your, what's your intention with this conversation? Like, like what do you hope to to get out of this or what do you hope to get out I don't personally have an intention I just hold on yeah I feel like something happened and I feel like it's just um I needed just a way to kind of like communicate you know mm -hmm. one you know the families are grieving you know it's fans that experienced something it's fans that came to a show uh, you know, and I feel like I just have like a, I've always been that person to always see things through mm -hmm. with um, the people that shared experiences with me. And, you know, it just, things happen and, you know, I just kind of, you know, it's been such a, such a time and I've just been trying to just really figure things out, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I know you, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you experienced it. We definitely only given this about 20 minutes. He, um, <laughs> he's real long winded on these questions. Um, and these, these are the simple questions, but, um, okay. Remorse. But was there any hesitation to have this conversation because of the litigation you may be facing? Well, I mean, yeah, of course you got people that's just like, Oh, uh, what? Like, you know, but um, it's not about that. 
uh, you know, it's you know, you're an artist, you whoever people think you are, but at the end of the day, you're a human being, you know, mm -hmm. um, and you, you have emotions. Um, you want to speed the video up. Uh. Communicate them emotions, you know, and trying to find the best way to communicate, you know, okay. how you just feel, you know. How have you been coping with the aftermath of everything? Just, just, just emotionally, just you as a human. I've been just in a room for a while, you know, a lot of thoughts, and luckily, you know, um, you have people around that can, you kind of bounce ideas. But it's just been, you know, I've been doing this for such a long time, and you know, you nothing like this ever happened, you know. So it just kind of like you just kind of. Uh, this is my thing, y'all. And they, yeah, they are suing him for billions. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> How is it that he can be sued for this? Like, how can only him be sued? Because, I mean, honestly, if he's being sued, he need to sue the venue. You know, that's what I think. I think that he should sue the venue as he's getting sued. Because if I'm not mistaken, the venue should be in charge of the security. They should be in charge of um, everything involving the whole festival you know what i'm saying i know he's the artist but the artist ain't in control of nothing it's his festival he owns okay so this is his festival that he throws himself you can sue anyone for anything unfortunately yeah but i don't know if he was the one who hired security because security Security got bum rushed because it wasn't enough security, though. I just don't. I don't. I'm gonna figure it out, and at the end of the day, like these fans are your family, so you just mm -hmm. feel like you lost, lost something, and you just it, like you go, you do these shows honestly to, you know, for people to have the best experience, you know, and mm -hmm. just to think that something like this happened, you just trying to figure out, you know, you know, just wrap everything around. Yeah, so higher enough. Even people. just for the first couple, couple weeks, you know, it was just me sitting down, but I had to really channel these emotions to just remember, like you know. If no one's gonna be a voice for these people, I gotta like kind of step up and kind of like be a voice to just figure out that, you know, this doesn't happen in the future, the shows, period. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or figure out the bottom solution of what's going on and just try to ensure these people, you know, safety and what they're doing, you know? Yeah, you said you was in the room, but then people saw you at, uh, at the golf course. Yeah, with Michael Jordan yeah. and Mark Wahlberg. What, yeah. what, what was that? Um, it was just Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. um, you know, and they were there. Um, you know, just good people to have around in the community. And, you know, that so was just, people was you know, like, mad. Time just trying to get around. People, oh own, fuck. You know, so more, people like, no, was nobody mad. Nobody was like being on stage except for that th uh, Thanksgiving. He was um, playing golf with Michael Jordan, basically. The artist will speak to us from that perspective of, of what you can see in here. It was like what, fifty thousand people. Yeah, I mean, you got like a, a venue, you know, filled with like fifty thousand people. Mm -hmm. But it's like a scene. You got lights, you got sound, you got pyro, you got you, know, you got your in ears, got your sound, got your mic, you know, got the music, you got bands, all type of, you know stuff going on so it's hard, it's hard to tell excitement from, from how can one person see what's going on with fifty thousand people y'all that's crazy from, from danger so yeah to speak. of course everything mm -hmm. kind of just sounds the same and, any, and at the end of the day you just hear music mm -hmm. you know and when you do you just hear amongst of things you know but you just when you're in the show you just enter the show and anytime you can feel anything close to you you know you try to like definitely get to that so, so as an artist how much can you actually i guess help in that position you can only help what you can see you know what i mean mm -hmm. right and then, you know, whatever you told, you know what I'm saying? Whenever it's my tell you to stop, you can stop. But, this wasn't it. Well, it wasn't that night, huh? You know, Raging, Raging has been a part of the culture, you know, of your shows. You know, you didn't on this night, but in the past, you've encouraged, I guess, the kind of energy that could have led to something like this happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think that contributed to the energy of this night? Yeah, no, nah, I think, you know, it's something I've been working on, you know, for a while. Um, I ain't gonna lie, this might be karma for all his other shows because all the like viral videos I've seen of his other shows, he he be starting some shit. Do you hear me? So yeah, that might have a lot to do with it. Creating these experiences and trying to show like the experiences happening in a safe environment. Mm -hmm. You know, us as artists, we trust you know professionals to make sure that you know oh, things it's not happen just and people him. leave you know safely. You know what I'm saying? Um, and this night was just like a regular show. Mm -hmm. You know, it felt like to me. Um, as far as like, you know, the energy, people, it, it didn't feel like yeah, it was like, you know, people didn't, I don't, people didn't show up there to just be harmful. Mm -hmm. People just, I think, showed up to have a good time and then, you know, something unfortunate happened. And I think we really just got to figure out, you know, what that was, you know? Does raging make it harder to identify when something is 
going wrong in the crowd? Well, I think, you know, raging is just a, you know, they have a textbook, you know, definition, but, you know, in the concerts, we've grown it to be just an experience of having fun. It's not about just, oh, harm. Mm -hmm. It's not about that. It's about just letting go and having fun, you know, help others, you know, love each other. It's not about just... But he didn't do that. I ain't gonna lie. Several times in the past, uh, well, for, of those videos I've seen, somebody took his shoe or something, and he told the crowd to beat the nigga up. Didn't he tweet that day and say to rush the gates or whatever? What? He did? Oh, nah, this is on him. A hundred percent on him. That's not what it's all about. The show isn't just rambunctious for an hour. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, that's not what it is. You know? oh, trust me, I grew up on crunk. <laughs> so, you know, I understand. You know, They told him to cancel the show, too, and he still went with it. Oh, nah, this all him. You just don't, you don't want it to get too out of hand. Yeah, yeah, but you know, the co you know, energy is high, you know, mm -hmm. and, you know, that's why you want to just make sure that, you know, people are surrounded to make sure that people are just having the best experience. You know what I'm saying? You know, I can't say the energy is high, but, you know, you want to make sure that people are there to, for people to have like the best experience and leave. You know? Yeah, you, you want people to have a good time. You want people to get yeah, hurt though. at all. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, God forbid, pass away. And, and you know, it's typical for you to stop a show to make sure fans in the crowd get the help, you know, they need. There's even footage of that night of, of you doing that during the set. Were you unable to sense like a difference in urgency this time around? I mean, yeah, because, you know, you stop the show, but, you know, you, you know, if something's gonna happen, if it's something detrimental, somebody's gonna let you know, you know, or, you know, the show just stopped. And, you know, that just wasn't the case. You know, I just kind of stopped the show. You know, you just ask, you have a call and response with the fans. Um, you try to, you know, generally get a response. But, you know, if you don't get like a hard like stop. You, you stop, you yeah. know, it's just, you, you can't, you just don't, you just go off of what's going on, you know, which makes it so like, so crazy. Cause like, you know, if I feel like, you know, anyone would have known, it would have just been like, it wouldn't have gotten far, you know? Mm -hmm. what, what headspace were you in when you posted that, uh, that initial? That initial response video. I mean, situation. it was. I think it had to be the night of, you know. Um, so, I was just in a headspace of just trying to get a communication out to my fans, you know. Um, I, I had little to no information, you know. So I was just trying to figure it out and just communicate to them, you know. Yeah, I was just reacting, just literally, just to get something to the fans, you know. I hope we ask about that initial. Do you tweet. regret that initial video? Do you regret reacting in that way, or not like not having all the information before you said something? I mean. Yeah, because, you know, you, you just don't know what's going on. But at the end of the day, I don't, you know, I just wanted to get something out. You know, how my message came out, I can't, you know, I can only go off what I, you know, what I know. But mm -hmm. my true intentions of it, you know, was really just trying to get a message across and, you know, really wanted to just touch the fans, touch the families, you know, that we hear, we grieving, mm -hmm. and we'll get through this, you know, through this process. So, so what did you know in that first video? I mean, at, at that time, I think we just knew that, you know, people passed, mm -hmm. you know. Um, we didn't know how, you know, that it was, you know, the news, you know, I think police came out and said, Something, um, you know, you're just going off of what you're seeing in the When the girl the news, climbed you know, on the know, ladder. Really I know she told, she told somebody on the stage that somebody had died, but she didn't, he couldn't hear her, y'all. That part, he, he couldn't, she wasn't directly talking to him. People was letting the cameraman know that somebody was dying and it was videotaped. And that's my thing. The cameraman should have told, I don't, I just feel like, I honestly think he's taking it hard because his career won't be the same anymore. I don't think he gives a fuck for real. That BSS apology he gave it did for me. Ah, one eleven in the chat. Yeah, I don't. I don't think they could. I don't think they could hear either. If that lawsuit go through, everybody will get twenty one point seven mil. The families, damn. And then as the days go on, you start collecting a little bit more information. 46 people died, y'all? I thought it was like 11. I mean, which is still a lot, but 46 people died is what y'all telling me? They said there was a, there was like chaos and trampling being reported since the early afternoon, like like hours before the show even started. Were you people was the, injecting that, needles that into people. Well, no. What you mean? Like, um, and, um, you know, the police, he came... He came and um, to my trailer and, you know, he congratulated me on, you know, the event and, you know, having something like this in Houston. He let me know that this, it was, uh, you know, mishap at the merch booth earlier. You know, they shut it down, but they opened it back up. They seemed to got it under control. You know, he was going to step out and just let us know if we need anything, you know, mm -hmm. have a good show. That was it. You know, um, a lot of the criticism, you know, from the tragedy, they say is in the 
the poor planning and understaffing of the of the event. Right. As an artist, do you have any involvement in any of that? Well, I mean, we just do, as an artist, you just do the creative. And for this being my festival, you know, I got you know bring artists, you know, creatively produce it. And, you know, we just trust in, you know, the professionals to kind of just make sure that, you know, people, you know, take care of them. He's not answering the questions, and that's what's pissing me off. The question was, do you have any, any, like, do you have anything to do with that? And if you don't, nigga should have said no. But it's like he's not answering the question. It's like he's, like, I feel like he's being condescending a little bit, but <laughs> he's just not answering the question at all. I'm leaving safely, you know, I just... Can you control what I can on the stage? And then, you know, you have the professionals control what they can. Like, the nigga, no. Everybody else was in charge of security. The venue was in charge of this other shit. He's not, like, if you didn't have nothing to do with that, why are you not saying you didn't have nothing to do with that? You know, it's just hard. He's dodging artist, all you know, the questions. have, like, the best shows, and you want to have the best experiences, and you, you know, you link with professionals to handle that side of it. So know? other and people you, have something to know. do with it. Say that. You want to know what's going on. I think that's what we got to figure out, you know, and no. figure out what happened there, how it happened, you know. You spoke on the... Uh, yeah, he's police. not answering the question. It's driving Chief, me crazy. His name is uh, Troy Finney. He came to you and he, he said he voiced concerns over the, the crowd energy. So what, what did you and your team like do with that information? What you got? Well, I think that's what the media, um, I think that's what the media said, but I think, it, I think it read to more so that he wanted us to, he knew that our crowd was, you know, the type of crowd that comes, it comes at a heavy crowd. So to communicate with him if we were doing anything outside of the week's itinerary, you know? Mm -hmm. um, that week we were doing like a lot of charity stuff prior to the festival. So, you know, the security at most of the events, but you know, he was just letting us, you know, I guess in that statement, he was just saying if we do anything outside of what we had on our itinerary, itinerary let him know. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we didn't even oh, get to that point. He, he didn't answer that you know, either. Me and kicking it with you for a little bit, like I can see that, you know, this is weighing real heavy on you. Yeah. So, so how much do you, do you feel a sense of responsibility for what happened that night? Well, you know, fans come to have a, come to the show and have a good experience, you know? What? Um, and that wasn't the question. <laughs> I have a responsibility to, to figure out what happened here. I have a responsibility to figure out the solution, and, you know, and I gotta, and, and hopefully this takes the first step into, you know. Y'all, this was a terrible interview. I don't know who the hell his PR was. I don't know who he trying to fool with this shit right here. Responsibility <laughs> for what? He how? asked him, "What? How much responsibility do you feel like you had with this?" He a Sagittarius, ain't he? <laughs> Y'all, what's his sign? <laughs> Y'all, all jokes aside, he's not answering these, these questions. He is just simply going into, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. I just, I was just trying to figure out what's going on. How much, how much, <laughs> how much of your part did you play in this? Was the question. Mm -hmm. But you know, we didn't even get to that point. You know, it's crazy. Just you know, being and kicking it with you for a little bit. Like I can see that, you know, this is weighing real heavy. On you. Yeah. So, so how much do you do you feel a sense of responsibility? For what happened that night. How much do you feel of a sense of a sense of responsibility you had that night? And honestly, I just wish he said repeat the question. Well, you know, fans come to have a come to the show and have a good experience, you know. Um, and I have a responsibility to to figure out what happened here. I have that, a responsibility no, no. to figure out the solution. No, no, no. And, you know, and I gotta, and, and hopefully this takes a first step into, you know, us as artists, you know, having that more insight of what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, you know, the professionals to kind of, you know, surround and figure out more of an intel, whether it's tech, whether it's, you know, more of a response, whether it's whatever the problem is, you know, um, to figure out that in, in, in the future and moving forward in concert safety, mm -hmm. make sure this never happened again, you know? But let's talk about those professionals. And Charlemagne, if he was on the Breakfast Club, would have said, you didn't answer the question. <laughs> you absolutely did not answer the question just now. Y'all, he did not answer the question. He didn't answer the question the way it was asked. <laughs> like how much, how much responsibility do you think like Live Nation and Scoremore, the promoters, having all this? I mean, you know, 
Live Nation. Yeah, you know. But let's talk about those professionals. Like, how much, how much responsibility do you think like Live Nation and Score More, the promoters, have in all this? I mean, you know, they do their job of you know setting these things up. So I mean, I, I think you know they they when we dial into what you know specifically happened here, I feel like you know even they can kind of help you know figure out what happened in a sense. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but at the end of the day, I think collectively, everyone needs to just figure out the bottom line solution. But, you know, especially in concert safety, you know, definitely got to have, you know, make sure that, you know, these things are, you know, done right. Mm -hmm. You think these festivals are too big, man? I don't know who put him up to this. And I don't know who the hell gave him the answers to these questions. But this was terrible. So I guess he was instructed to not put the blame on himself or the people, I guess Live Nation, whoever else had anything to do with this concert. He's not answering any questions and he really just made himself look 10 times worse. I am done with this video. I'm praying for him. I hope everything, uh, uh, everything is everything after this with all parties involved. Goodbye.